Hello everyone and welcome to this new podcast. This podcast is called The Amazon's Podcast. And in this podcast, as usual, we discuss different subjects in life. There are, as you know, a lot of subjects that we can discuss. One of which that is about the human life in general. And there are other subjects that might we might discuss in this one. Some of the subjects are related to my experience. Some other subjects are related to uh, the job that I am doing. And other subjects are related to the general experience that everyone is having in this time. A lot of experiences and subjects does exist in this universe. And these subjects and experiences can be experienced by a lot of people. I might start and finish this podcast without knowing what is their subject that I'm going to discuss and without even starting to talk about the subjects or the subjects that I want to discuss. But instead, I will be thinking about the subject the entire time that I'm talking to you in this podcast. Because as long as I'm talking about what I want to do in this podcast, I think this is enough, because only talking about what to discuss is enough already of a discussion to begin with, to start and finish this subject. Some people want to say that this podcast is not important in their lives. The podcast Hamzoom has nothing to offer them in the fields of sport, education, and knowledge. But I will disagree as this podcast is really important and knowledgeable. Now let's let me give you an example. The difference between the podcast and uh, talking to another person will be shown in this example. Now let's imagine a situation when there is a discussion between two people online. Let's say this discussion is between person number one and person number two. Person number one will say something about a subject that he chooses. But person number two will might be disagreeing, or even when he is agreeing, there will be some kind of interruption, some kind of anger, and another kind of unhappiness with the person number one speech. There will be interruption. There will be miscommunication. And person number one will try to appease person number two by giving him uh, an extended version of his speech or by giving him a shortcut. And this extension or a shortcut will make an alteration 
in the person number one speech. That the listener, if there is one, will not get the full benefit of their communication. Especially when thinking about that person number one and two have to say things in line with their perspectives and in line so that none of them will get the full benefit and personal and detailed information that could help the other one get more advanced. This is generally speaking, but there are a few examples that this condition can drop and the conversation will be constructive. While in this podcast, there has no importance of involving a second communicator in this speech. As the listener will understand and get the ideas easily from this podcast without involving an other style and way of speaking and thinking. And this is, I guess, is enough for this example. Maybe in the future, I can make communication online between me and another person because I am used to such interactions online. Although I don't really get a lot of benefit from 90% of these interactions. I used to have some apps for communication and speaking with strangers online. But unfortunately, these means and communication methods did not provide me with enough fulfillment and interests so that I can continue using them. The general users of these applications can be described as someone who is looking for a quick and an entertaining method to spend a few minutes. While I was trying to get information and long-term friendship, there are other things that I will not describe in these applications that people are seeking. So, it would be hard for me to broadcast in my podcast such interactions. Although it would be so difficult for me to do such things, but I think I would do it in the future if I, if I have the right way and the right means to do so. To talk in a podcast with another friend or only me about a subject that is really interesting to talk about. And I have noticed a significant increase in my viewers and listeners to the Hubzoom podcasts as they have grown from two to one, two, three, four, and even seven. This can be a breakthrough and a real advancement in this podcast. The nice thing about this podcast is that I am giving it easily and enjoyably in the weekend and in my free time as I can talk about it. Providing the listener and the speaker with entertainment and enjoyment. 
And while I am looking for a subject to start with this and every other one, every other podcast I mean, I am in the meantime thinking and applying my knowledge in a speech manner. And it can be difficult for someone who is not native in English speaking to do such things. But fortunately, with practice, I can improve my speaking ability and provide the listener with an enjoyful listening experience. It is almost like learning a new language. When you start learning a foreign language, you need months, years, and a lot of time. And within the meantime, as you are practicing, you think to yourself, why I am learning this language? What's the benefit? Is there is a more sufficient, more important uh, thing that you can spend time than learning a new language? Like exercising, maybe learning your your uh, specific field of study and work even better than learning a new language. And you would find at the end that, yes, exactly. And yes, indeed, learning a new language can be a waste of time or a time best spent learning something else that is relevant to your life, that you can benefit yourself and your community before you die. As learning a new language, you can even master a new language. But what's the benefit of that? Unless you go travel, study and work in a foreign country. People nowadays are learning and trying to learn German, for example. which is really demanding and hard language to master. I tell tell those who do such things not to do that. Instead, they can focus on their lives, on learning their specific field of studying, and working better or even having a nice hobby to spend time with. I have gone through these difficulties in life I'm speaking from an experience. Actually, I have gone through many countries like the USA and Romania And I have tried to learn Romanian for a while. I have tried to learn French also. I have tried to learn Persian. And I have gone and had a nice time learning these things. But my level of knowledge in these languages have not been so to be an intermediate or an expert level. I can speak in Persian now to prove that. Man Yusuf Hashtam An Zeboni Khayli Khobe Zeboni Fursi Khayli Khobe For si Buddha Shamo Yad Guruftam Dan Dar 
دوروز دو سال نه دوروز دو سال آن زبانی خیلی ها خیلی آهسته So now I have to say it in Persian that the Persian language is easy and you can learn it within two years. But it's actually further, far from it. And I also can speak maybe in French. Je m'appelle Yusuf. Je voudrais... Je voudrais... Je voudrais le bronze lingue euh, je voudrais des dans cette vie avec euh, je suis un autre dire je suis à, à, actuellement un dentiste et je voudrais I actually forget how to say learning in the French it is uh, if I say je m'appelle that's my name but je voudrais I want if I want to say I want to learn Je voudrais étudier ou je voudrais étudier français. I want to study French. Let's say that. But you have noticed that my experience in both of these languages had a simplified and beginner level. Therefore, the main point of this example and this subject was that Learning a new language is not really an important thing to do. And the main point before that point, I've forgotten. But it was really important in this discussion. Maybe I can go back to while I am narrating this podcast. Of course, I have said something about speaking in this podcast with different people. Speaking and learning from their experiences. But how about that? They do their own podcast. And they broadcast their experience individually. So that there will be no interruption from an interviewer. And there will be no interaction between two different people. This is my idea. This is to avoid conflict of thoughts and speaking styles. And... Uh, also, in the beginning of this podcast, I have talked about what are the subjects that we are going to discuss in this session. But unfortunately, uh, we had none, so I had to improvise. And in this point of this podcast, I am lost, so I cannot find what to discuss at all. Therefore, I have to speak and speak with you to improve my language, to improve my speaking skills, and for you to improve your listening skills, or if you want to sleep, or if you want to drive, or if you want to think, or if you want to have a construct of an ideas and thoughts to be built. That is your choice to have and your podcast to find 
um, relation to therefore we are constructing an idea an idea that is so profound that needs a lot of time thinking about and speaking about and constructing an idea that have many pillars that goes in your mind at the same time it goes in my mind and as i am speaking please don't only think about what i'm talking about but think about your life think about what you want to accomplish what are your ideas what are your thoughts what things that you have to think about what things that you have to manage and don't give a lot of attention to these podcasts unless there is a subject and a manner of speech that you want to take notes from And do not worry about this podcast ending. I know you like this podcast. I know you listen to it passionately, but do not worry about it ending, as there will be many, many episodes. About 500 episodes, 1,000, I'm not sure yet. And there will be a lot of hours and minutes spent in this one and the ones to come. So, as I said, think about your life. What have you done? What do you want? Things. Maybe you are eating as you listen. Maybe you are sleeping as usual. And this podcast will go so bad. And sometimes and will go so good some other times, hopefully. And I will try to think about something to share with the listeners about my personal life and about my career and about general thoughts that I have about the society of Iraq and the society of the whole world. If I find something that is worth sharing with the general public that are listening to this podcast, then I will share it. But if I have something that does not have to be shared, then I wouldn't. Therefore, you don't have to be afraid that this podcast will share something sensitive and non-family friendly. At all. This podcast is a nice podcast. It's a podcast that is so diluted and so soft to the ears and soft to the minds for those who are listening. It only narrates and shares things that have already everyone knows about. Maybe some nuance here and there, but generally speaking, it's all going to be an easy listen. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe I think about something. Then I talk about it. But then after thinking twice about the subject that I want to share, I think that it is not that of a big deal or that of a positive note to share with the general public. Because I've already said that this podcast only talks about the positive and nice things to talk about. And there are very few things that I can think of that are nice and positive. So maybe I'll start with the negative things as sometimes you have to start somewhere to go somewhere. So let's imagine this podcast as someone who is walking in a street and this street is filled with filth and garbage. This street is not even paved or well designed. But in order for us to get to the better street and to the best streets, we'd have to walk in such filthy and uneventful streets. We'd have to walk and walk and look right and left. The things that are in the street, yes, they are negative. Yes, there is nothing important to talk about in the street. But is this street is the only path for us to guide us for the better streets. In this street, we can see not a nice place. So we walk and look to the sky. The sky doesn't look so bad, actually, in this time. There are clouds in the sky. And there are birds in the sky. And there are windows that are broken and abandoned. Hotels and abandoned homes. These homes used to be glorious at some point in life, but now look at them. They serve no purpose. The street is blocked with with garbage and with bad people. The street is so narrow. And the street is or has limited space for pedestrians and even a small place for cars. So cars go in two lanes only, but they are so narrow. Please don't think too much about this street, because if you think about it too much, you'll be depressed and you'll be sad. Therefore, let's go now for the better streets. Imagine now we are walking in the better streets. 
It's a new street. I know you are talking about, uh, maybe you are thinking now that this podcast is only talking about streets. And this podcast is not intellectual and beneficial enough that it only talks about streets. And streets are not a good thing to talk about. They're not intellectual. They are not interesting enough. Maybe they are or not. But sometimes they are. Maybe I should have talked instead about the general political situation that we are facing. Or a newly advanced scientific discovery in the field of dentistry. Or maybe I have to talk about how bad and miserable the communications between the uh, the post-2003 community of Iraq? Or maybe a subject about how to improve your life and how to open a small village? How to make your friends happy and your family happy taking care of them, especially of the elderly? But these subjects can be seen in many other podcasts on the YouTube. That this specific podcast does not include. But instead, these podcasts include streets. Are not only streets. As I have heard someone in the past having a podcast talking about ugly women and how they are ugly. This woman is ugly and uh, this, uh, oh my god, this woman is old. This woman is 50 years old. It was a bad experience for me. I would not lie to you. And if you're having such experience in this podcast, I tell you now to get out of this podcast immediately. Because if you think that this podcast is not for you, then it's not. Please, I advise you to stop listening and listen to something else or even not listen at all. Maybe you have to sleep, you have to exercise. You have to go to your job. Please don't make it an addiction. As many other addictions in life, they trap you into their apps. They trap you into their bank accounts. And they'll trap you into their mentality or a small room. It's only an addiction, my friend. Don't spend too time, too much time listening to someone, especially me, as I'm not the person for that you'd have to listen to. Really? You might think you are increasing your mental capacity. You might think that you are increasing your physical capacity by listening to me, but really I'm telling you in advance that listening to me or listening to someone, no matter how smart and good looking or having a nice way of presenting his thoughts and ideas would get you in life. 
as it will get you only so far. It will get you actually nowhere. You think this guy is a programmer? So as much as I have, I'm listening to, he will make me a programmer. Or he will make me successful as this one is successful or something like that. If this guy or this one or this or that is successful, he will not probably share what makes him successful. And if he, even if he does, and if you, even if he tells you how to be and how to master his skills that he had reached to after years and years of learning and reading, you will not have time and you will not have uh, the specific field of study and experience to go with. And understand and apply. So, the only thing that has left is to listen for his general ideas. And you make your own idea at the end. You make your own path, no matter how much small and insignificantly looking. But still, you'd have to start somewhere. And not let other guide you step by step, making you start somewhere. Because if they do, you'd fail, probably. And you won't find enough fulfillment and enjoyment in that path. Now I have been speaking to you from the heart, telling you what successful people are and what are they building and what are they advertising. Let me give you an example. Or maybe a general idea about a successful human being that has a lot of money. But when coming to think about it, really, he does have this much money. But does he have this much knowledge? As a human being, the human has no much capacity to be or to include three things at one time. Maybe this guy is an investor, but is he a dentist? Is he a biologist? Is he a linguistic? No, but you could be, and I can be. And I will give you this motivational speech for you to understand how successful people are Oh, and how can you be successful without even trying to? You can have a government job and be successful in it. And you can have a spare time to spend credit hours. For an example, 120 credit hours educating yourself on a specific field of education that could be related or unrelated to that government job that you are doing. For my example, I have 120 credit awards to major in a specific field that is related to my government job that is dentistry. want to improve at something, want to get from point A to point B. Some people get it with friends. Some find other means possible. Some find it with strength and force. 
and some others with knowledge and mentality and thinking. And I think we are now at the fourth or at the last example. Not to be delusional that we think that we are better and best and smart. Not at all. But with mentality as the philosophy has been the main strength of this podcast. It has been only philosophy from the beginning to the end of this podcast. Some other podcasts would like to discuss other things. Some focus on different specific views and they dedicate their broadcasts to that specific point of views that I want, they want to share with the general public. But this podcast I think mainly focuses on philosophy and the manner of speech, the way that we want to make an idea about sometimes in this podcast we have other ideas than philosophy. Sometimes we think when we talk about languages, for example, and sometimes I share my experience with the podcast listeners. These times are few in number. Because most of the time, I'm talking about philosophy. And giving a metaphor of the street that I have walked and I have seen how bad it is and how good the good street is, that we might reach and we might not. And excuse my microphone. But this is our issue. We have to, as I said in a previous podcast, we have to talk to talk better. We have to think to think better. So now I am talking and thinking. So think with me, please. Think about what is the right thing to talk about in this podcast? Think with me as we go through this street. And for that analogy that I have given you, it could be a bad street and it could be a good street. We might be now walking a good, in a good street without knowing that we can be heading towards a bad street or a street that is worse than this one but we don't know that yet who knows we spend our lives thinking that the path that we are in is going to get better in the future. And we might go and we have and we have, we are probably going through a bad situation. But in fact we might be actually going through a good situation. 
and I was experienced. As you know, and you have known probably, and you actually have not, you might have not known at all that speaking in Arabic in Iraqi accent gives you a different way of explaining and manifesting your ideas in a different style. Given that style time to improve will be something different as music. Listening to a Mediterranean, a Mediterranean or a Middle Eastern music or food will be different experience from having a Western or a Far Eastern music and food. And that's why everyone has to share their real values, even though their values and thoughts are similar to the ideas and thoughts that have everyone heard about before. But still, the way that has been presented and the way that has been listened to would be different as every culture and every society has different way to manifest its ideas from the Red Indian to the Far East Indians and to the Bengalishi people to the Pakistani people too. But to be respectful, and by that I mean to respect your bones and sayings. Because in this age, doing one mistake could lead for you to be hated and cancelled, rightfully so. A mistake means that you give a fingerprint or make a contract between you and a foreign investor or a, a friend, then you will stop that contract, negating it and rendering it ineffective without any explanation or a convincing explanation. And as much explanation you can give and provide will get you as much agreement and as much approval from the uh, the society that you are living in and the society that is listening and watching you from all around the world. Sometimes you have your different style life. You might have been presenting yourself in a derogatory manner or a manner that is invasive and contains a lot of profanity. But still, that is your manner of speech. 
that is your way of explaining and sharing your ideas. And I don't think this way and manner will make people really sad and angry with you to the point they cancel you. Instead, the ways actually I am saying the things and the jobs and contracts that you have made will affect you more than the attitude and the demeanor you present yourself with. Still, the demeanor and the attitude is important. As you have to be all time happy, positive, enforcing, generous, precise, kind, and etc. of these good things without being inflammatory, derogatory, sinister, sad, miserable, hateful, and hurtful to others, feelings and thoughts. And this is, I think, concludes our podcast today. We have discussed a lot of the ideas and thoughts. Thank you for listening to this podcast. And you can now switch to another podcast. But I would uh, want to give an advertisement for this podcast to subscribe to this channel. And to give me your money on Patreon. Or give me some money on Patreon so that I continue this podcast every day. And if you give me money, I will give you podcasts. If you give me a subscription and if you give me like, you will motivate me to do more podcasts. And if you give me one million dollars, I will give you a lot of podcasts. And I might give you other things, but let's not get there for now. Thank you for listening and good night.